Hey, what's up guys? I got it here. Omega Mystery Box. You know, I love mystery boxes. This one is 10 mystery CGC graded Pokemon or card box. So mystery could be any of that. Would be nice to get Charizard or Blastoise. Those are the vintage ones, but it could be new ones, vintage one, a whole bunch of mix in uh, different type of grades. Looks like it's all 10 set here, but it could be even less. Um, so 10 cards, $300 about, plus taxes and shipping about $34 per card. So we'll scan them all after we unbox them and see if we uh, hit a little jackpot or was it worth it or did we like lose Wallow by buying a mystery box instead of in Juby Jewelry. I got these things on eBay. So this is really popular right now. I see people do it like everywhere. Okay. There goes nothing. Ooh. And so each one of them and sealed five and five. Okay, let's start with this side looks like. Oh man. So there's the back of it. Let's flip it. Oh nice. So this is um ooh, this is a really good. Um this is 8.5 Erica's Bell Sprout. And it's a first edition. That's a really good card. That will be really nice to look it up it is 1995 96 98 so a really good card right here i love that so already first card is awesome let's keep on going wow so exciting the packaging is so awesome it's just fun to unbox it and not knowing what's inside okay next one it's really different i don't know Oh wow, okay, this one is 95, 2000, still a vintage one. Um, not as good as the first one, but still really nice because it's vintage and it's a poem. We'll look them up, see the value of them on eBay, what they sell for in the last 90 days. Okay, but again, will we hit a jackpot? So far those are pretty good value, good grades. Oh, come on. There it is. I'm really good at opening this stuff. This box are different too, so let's see. Oh my gosh! Dragonite uh, 10. And this is a vintage one too. Uh, 95, so original. Wow, this is so cool. It says Kids W presents Pokemon first movie. Wow! That is so cool. I'll have to ask Ketan more about it. Sounds like it's one of those special edition. Oh yeah, it says promo on it. I'm really curious to see the value on eBay. Just wait till the end of the video and we'll find out. So far this has been an awesome box because we more care about the vintage stuff. Um, more so than the new stuff. I like new stuff too, but vintage ones are way cooler. Okay, there goes nothing. Ooh. Okay, this is what we talk about. New one. Wow. Charbink break. That is cool. I never even seen one of those. This is obviously new. Uh, and it's 2016. Mint 9. And we almost halfway through. So, a bunch of vintage ones. And one newer one, but it's a full out. Ooh, is this Japanese one? I think so. Okay, a little bit of everything. I think whenever it's a different color, that's a Japanese. Okay, let's flip it over. Oh my gosh, Charizard um, Mint 10. That is awesome. What year is that? 2022. Beautiful. And it's Japanese, so I'm really curious. Uh, to see how much the value of a Japanese one Okay, all we have to do is pull one vintage one. Oh man, this is so much fun making videos of Vintage stuff like this. I mean mystery boxes like this. Okay another vintage one. Let's find out 
Oh, nice, a trainer. 1999. That's cool. Uh, it's a grade 6, so very low grade on this one. Wow, you never know what grade you're going to get because it looks so good, but graded only 6. That is nice, but it's vintage, original. Those are really popular. Originals are the best. Okay. Ooh, another Japanese one. Let's see what we got inside here. Ooh, that's cool. Mint 10. Japanese. Um, Rekua. Not really sure. 2022. Beautiful. Again, Japanese ones in the United States. Sometimes more valuable than American ones. The English ones because they are uh, more collectible here. In Japan, it's probably more valuable the English ones. Wow, another Japanese one. Let's see. Ooh, this is nice. 2021 Charizard. So we got two Charizards. That is awesome. And this one is uh, pristine 10. So this one is 10. This one is pristine 10, meaning like the best one. That is so cool. Wow. Okay, let's keep on going. So there's a good mix of Japanese and English. Those are the most valuable ones. Another Japanese. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. 2022 9.5 that's cool Akino okay and the last one and then we're going to scan them all on eBay see what they're all about and calculate the total oh this is the best one I opened so far okay let's flip it wow nice 2022 8.5 mint that's cool Choi. So let's scan each one of them and it looks like there's a pristine 30 to 50 dollars plus shipping so um, we paid 34 dollars per card so that's we paid what we get pretty much and um, let's check out the next one this one's are a lot cheaper but they go from three dollars to a hundred dollars Kind of like goes all over the place. And let's see what it actually sold for. So $1 graded $6. So not super valuable. There's just so many of them. Um, and those are other ones. There's a graded one 2022. Only like $7 plus $5 shipping. So that's definitely not the best card right there. Okay, Charizard, that probably be better. There are some of them are for $100, $20. We have a 10, so we want to look for a 10 as well. This is Gym Mint, so Gym Mint as well. Different graders though. I think that's a better grader. Um, so about $20. And let's see what they sell for. There you go, $40. So from $40 to a hundred dollars and then you can get a really good deal at the sold for twenty seven dollars twenty dollars and thirty so this is a good card but looks like every time we're going to scan something there'll be good value around thirty dollars per card but then we get a bunch of like a cheap cards like this one I'll let you uh, searched it it's only a couple dollar card not that valuable then the vintage ones vintage ones is could be some good money but vintage Charizard probably would be the best so this one is not bad 30 to 60 dollars let's see sold 8.5 non sold but yeah about 30 dollars so we pretty much paying for fun this one is probably going to be worth nothing only like a dollar or two as well yeah dollar plus 15 dollar card right here 
uh, because the shipping is $29 it doesn't cost to ship that much it's a cost only five dollars to ship this card but none sold that's cool okay this one is pretty good let's see so we're probably going to lose about hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars or in value this one 9.5 this one is a 10 and they're only asking uh, twenty dollars and this one is they asking four hundred dollars so Let's see what is actually sold because that's the best way to tell. Okay, that one sold for 900. I don't know why. No, that's a different card. So there is some rare uh, cards. That's what we're chasing for super rare. That is one card is like $900. But looks like this one not even sold. But it's like $20, $30 card as well. And this one should be a really good one. It's a vintage one okay and there you go 30 35 plus 20 dollar shipping and there's a uh, 12 dollar shipping this one 9 8.5 so not as good one 8.5 20 dollars and there's looks like a lot of them and let's see sold so that's not the worst card 15 dollars plus 30 dollars shipping sold and yeah it's all about being graded not a lot of them being sales either i think it was a lot of fun unboxing it so it's kind of worth it unboxing it but the value is not the best so this one is actually a good trainer card 25 dollars there is somebody asking for 60. um we have grade six though really low grade so it's like about 12 dollar card that's it and this one is gonna be a really good one I think as well because it's vintage and it's a promo card first edition okay well people asking this is a 10 this is actually the best card I got that considered to be a jackpot out of all of them there's $80 including shipping for one card $50 but it is um, grade 8 uh, what grade is that 8 so there is not even a 10 there's a grade 9 oh wow no way somebody asking for this one card for four hundred dollars almost wow so this one card can pay for my whole uh, mystery box if it sells it's probably going to take a long time to sell for three hundred dollars it's a different uh, grading company I don't know which one is better I think people like this grading company a little bit more but this is nine hundred dollars okay there it is somebody asking um, hundred and eighty five dollars including shipping uh, for this card as well let's go into sold I has I seen enough there is a two hundred twenty dollars there's somebody asking four hundred um yeah so mint tent is the best so this is the jackpot in this pile we got a really good card right here uh, let's go to sold let's see what they actually sells for so grade eight we have a 10 significantly lower so nine still cheap okay there's one sold um grade what uh grade 10 somebody bought this card for a hundred and sixty dollars uh, so that's nice that's good i think we broke even maybe we lost a little bit if i sell them cheap to just keep them moving but then we can get a really good deal grade nine but people want gra grade 10 because look how rare that is a lot of eights wow that is awesome so yeah miniature jackpot okay somebody sold it for 200 dollars right here they took an offer that is good okay and yeah there's just none okay 140 dollars plus shipping 9.5 we have better grade so this is a 200 dollars will sell probably a much quicker card so i think we broke even maybe made a little bit of money and most important we had so much fun pretty much for free if I resell it 
on eBay. That is awesome. There you go. Another nine. I mean nine. Grade nine. A hundred dollars. Nine point five. Ninety five dollars. And it was an auction. Auction sometimes. Uh, best deals you can get. Okay. I've seen a nut. I'm really happy about that car. This is my jackpot out of all of them. And yeah. You can calculate. I think we definitely broke even. This is a uh, $150-$200 and this is at least I think I could 9 cards squeeze in another $200 out of all of them and make my money back. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Let me know in comments below if you want to see another mystery box unpackaging. And I'll see you next time.